Hey, 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 Marianne here, the Crotchety Clogger. Thanks for joining me today. Today is, hold on a second, my notes are on the floor. Okay. <laughs> today is Sunday, December the 3rd. <laughs> getting on into December, and it's getting kind of chilly, um, finally. Of course, we're having a roller coaster weather lately. It's like, you know, down in the... 30s and 20 high 20s one night and then two nights later it doesn't get below 50 it's kind of weird but i don't know tis the season for weird weather tis okay on to the point <laughs> december the third um before i go on i want to show you what i'm wearing that's why i got to talk about the weather because this is a nice sweatshirt and it's cool enough today to wear it, but I'll show you. I've shown it a long time ago. This was a, this was a gift from a very special, lovely person whom I love dearly, Stitch, and Baby Yoda, and they're rocking on the moon, and I love you to the moon and back, too. I do love you to the moon and back. You know who. Okay, so... Uh, I already told you today's is the third. I didn't have a lot of sleep last night, you know, so I'm kind of woo. Um, okay, before we do the advent, which I'll leave for the last, I wanted to, uh, I think this was, I, I play, oh, <laughs> this might be a longer video than normal. Um, okay, I was so good the entire 2023 i really was uh i did not buy i honestly believe i bought one skein of clearance yarn at hobby lobby because it was in the clearance bin all alone it was scrubby yarn <laughs> to buy it and I if to my knowledge I think that is all of the yarn that I bought in 2023 so I'm gonna pat myself on the back I am I I was disciplined I just chunked all the emails I didn't even look at them I just delete 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 you know all those emails that you get from everywhere until now after saying all that until now um I couldn't help myself on Good Friday. The, see, my birthday lands like right around Thanksgiving, Cyber Monday, Good Friday, that whole, you know. So, which is really kind of cool, you know, because it's like I'm celebrating lots of things and I don't forget to celebrate me, which is important for all of us to do. I might sound a little egotistical right now, but, you know. Anyway, so... I do become, I know it's because, it, I, <laughs> I justify it, right? So when Black Friday comes around and Cyber Monday comes around, I just about justify spending because, hey, it's my birthday. <laughs> so I did. I placed a small order, nothing large, a small order with lionbrand.com because one of the emails that I was about to chunk um, caught my attention, and that happened twice for that weekend. I'll tell, tell you in another video about the other one, but this one, it, it was, it said nine for nine dollars is what I saw. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nine skeins for nine dollars? Hmm. <laughs> so I checked into it. So yeah, Line Brand, uh, they had a sale, nine skeins for nine dollars. Now, this is the limited edition premium yarn. Okay, let's just look at it first. I went ahead, I bought the palette that they called neutrals. Now, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to get all the same color or like beiges and taupes and off-whites and different shades of neutral. Maybe even some grays in there. I didn't know. The picture didn't look like, well, some of them, I couldn't tell. 
but I did check the reviews on the line brand site for this particular yarn, the limited edition. And I found that, but most of the reviews were pretty good about it. It said it felt like cotton, that it washed up real well, and it seemed very durable. So I thought, okay, you know, I, I, instead of just ordering nine, I went ahead and ordered 18. You know, two, two, 18 bucks. Uh, and with shipping, I paid a total of $25.70 shipping and tax. Tax uh, Shipping was actually $6. So, let's go ahead and do the math. Averaging it out, 18 skeins uh, with shipping and taxes, uh, they came out to be $1.43 each skein. Still not bad. Um, now, but I was still kind of curious. Let's look at it first. Um the reviews, like I said, on the Lion Brand site were pretty good. Now, the way I, I, I think you guys might already know, uh, because there's been other reviews that I've looked, I've looked at one. I haven't looked at them all. I've only looked at one because I wanted to see for myself, as far as video review goes. Um, I just wanted to see for myself uh, before I went too far. Now, there are, if you don't know this yarn, and I didn't, I didn't. I have to admit, I haven't been keeping up with the uh, a lot of the new yarns that have come out this year. Because if I did, I'd want to buy it. <laughs> I mean, I try to be disciplined. But uh, now, you see that? To me, that don't feel bad. And I know it's just going to blow out. But it is all the same color. All 18 of them are this color and it all it says on it is neutrals and it's neutral i'd say you, you're seeing what it is you, you the light is blowing it out just barely for you but it's uh it's a very it looks like natural cotton is what it looks like uh off white it's off white yeah, there you go. That's that's it right there. It's a little bit, maybe slightly darker shade than what you see, but it to me it feels good. To me it feels good. Okay, it's three point five ounces, a hundred grams, one hundred and eighty six yards, or one hundred and seventy meters. It's a medium four, uh, worsted, machine washable and dryable, one hundred percent acrylic neutrals. Now, this is the limited edition. There's also, uh, well, this is the limited edition premium is what I've been meant to say. Premium. I don't know if you can read that right there in the band, but there's another one that's called the limited edition select. And from what I understood on the site, the select was a shinier version of the premium. But the select was all sold out. I think I might, I, I was thinking I would prefer the shinier one. But I, I'm very happy with this so far. Let's see how it works out. So let's go on to that. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is uh, use this to, and work it up this week in the next day or two. Uh because I want to try to do that video. Let's choose it. So, yeah, kind of thinking in my head, sorry. Um, yeah, so, I, you know, this week's uh, pick at Bad, at bad, bad, bad Mimi Crochet and Farming. <laughs> no, Laura, I have not watched your Naughty or Nice video yet, but my mouth just said Bad Mimi, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go see one of your Naughty. I need some sleep. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So, Lala picked my number last Tuesday for the bod had to pick my name. And I had picked number 63. And I thought, how weird is that? Because, you know, it was just my birthday. And I'm a 1963 baby. Back in the year of our Lord. 1963. And she and my number was sixty three. Well, guess what hat that was. Well, you'll have to maybe you should go over there and look and see what hat that was if you don't already know. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this week's hat in 
this new yarn and just tell you for myself what I think about it. But I have heard that our, there, are, there are a lot of different uh, views on this yarn from what I've seen. I haven't watched all the reviews yet because, like I said, I want to see for myself before I'm too swayed. The one review I did see, I have to say, did not, it, it just, you know, was very accommodating insofar as everybody has different tastes, you know. So, what this person felt doesn't mean that somebody else would feel it and think something completely different, right? You know, like maybe my fingers are more like sandpaper, so something more, who knows? I don't know, but I like it. The big, the big thing is, how's it going to wash? Will I have time to wash it? I might be a little late with that video, but she, oh, I keep rubbing my, this is a scab. I burnt, I burnt my chin. I missed my mouth, basically, when I was eating some hot broth. Boy, it was hot. And I must say, I was very thankful that it did not go inside my mouth. Okay, so there's the yarny part of our video today. Let's do the advent part. Are you ready? I'm ready. So let's see. Oh, before we do that, let's talk about yesterday's advent flavor of cheese, please, was uh, a Gouda. Did I read somewhere? It's like when I jump in a mouse hole somewhere and I'm researching something, I will run across things and I'll, and I'll just glance and glance. and I'm not a speed reader, but I can kind of just, you know, get what I want out of something. And I don't believe I read it right, but maybe I did. I think I read that it is not pronounced Gouda. It's pronounced Gouda. It looks more like Gouda, but I always thought it was Gouda. Anybody know? Okay, leave, a, you know, leave your answer in the comments if you know. Okay, so let's talk about the flavor of Gouda. I looked it up, uh, asked Google, Google, Google. I asked Google about Gouda, and Google said that Gouda cheese is recognized for its diverse flavor profile. Did not know that. I always thought Gouda was just a, always a, I've always had a creamy, smoothy, velvety Gouda. Okay, but here it says Gouda cheese can exhibit a wide range of flavor qualities from mild and creamy, which is what I think, I've tasted, too harsh and acidic, depending on its age. So there again, as we talked about the cheddar the day before, uh, same thing with the aging of the cheese. The flavors develop as Gouda cheeses reach the medium stage of mature maturation. Can I read? Showing extra whey, sour aromatics, and a somewhat cooked or milky essence. So it makes it good for, like, mac and cheese. Macanguda, Macanguda. Uh, but anyway, matured Gouda has a rich caramel-like flavor, ooh, which is developed after prolonged ripening, along with brothy and malty or nutty undertones. Okay, so yeah, depending on how long the cheese has been aged, the finish can range from silky to sharp. So yeah, the silky is what I've experienced more with Gouda, but this actually shows you a picture of Gouda that looks super duper hard looking, but that's a strong flavor. Okay, let's give it a shot. Give it a try and see how it tastes. Let me move my computer. Got my water handy. All right, so let's open up the calendar. We are looking for day three. Here's the calendar. Cheese, please. 12, 16, 7. Let me turn this around and see. 5, 22. I can't see. 15. Oh, for heaven's sake. Should look for it before I hit the button. 13, 6, 15, 9, 24. Where's the last one? 5, 22. Come on, man. Where's number 3? One, eight, fourteen, one, two, three, two, four, sixteen, three. I found it. <laughs> okay, let's see. That one was 
it's easy. Ooh, I'm almost opening the one underneath. Okay. Let's see what we have. Number three, a smoky cheddar. Smoky cheddar. Okay, what was the cheddar we had before? The cheddar we had before was uh, extra mature. All right, this is smoky. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you, yeah, the Gouda from the yesterday was black pepper Gouda. I didn't say that, did I? All right, and this is smoky cheddar. Smoky cheddar. Not extra mature, but smoky. I like cheese. Okay, get my spreader. Get a little taste. Well, that's too little. I need more than that. There. That should do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm hungry too. <laughs> you know it's gonna be good if I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. Mm. It's smoky. I like it. It's cheddar. I like it. I forgot a cracker. That's okay. Very good. Smoky cheddar. I do not think, since we've already talked about cheddar cheese, that I'll speak about cheddar cheese tomorrow. There's probably more kinds of cheddar in there than anything, but I don't care. It's cheese. I like cheese. So, thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to get on the bod how to palooza hat. Um, go over to Mad Mimi's to see which hat it is. And uh, I'll catch you manana. Love you. Bye.